Hi everyone. Welcome to Infosec Train. This is Krish. So, this is a part 3 video of the video series on how to start a career in cloud computing. So, in this video team, we will be discussing about the key aspects of what is a CCSP certification. So, this is a very, very common question. So, I have listed the number of like a few questions, which is basically I'm getting for a long time regarding what exactly is CCSP and uh, what is the eligibility for CCSP? Can I learn CCSP without a cloud knowledge and all these things? So first of all team, CCSP stands for Certified Cloud Security Professional. And the goal of the certification for a CCSP is to provide you with a very detailed understanding of the cloud governance and cloud risk management aspects. Like for example, when you basically go for a certification or vendor specific certification like AWS Certified Solutions Architect or Azure, certifications or google certifications we are learning how can we implement those things we are learning how can we implement this uh aws infrastructure or maybe azure infrastructure or google infrastructure and we are learning about how to deploy their services but at the same time when you go for a ccsp on certified cloud security professional it's by body called as ic square we are learning about the management and governance aspects so why do we have to learn that or basically is it mandatory for us to or is it uh, useful for us to learn CCSP. So team, there are four multiple aspects which we have to understand. Let's suppose that you go to a business. Let's suppose we work as a part of our organization. So when you work as a part of our organization, we have seen that there is a like there is a requirement coming for maybe, maybe migrating to a cloud platform or maybe deploying a new cloud solution or choosing a proper cloud service provider or specifying a particular cloud service and all these things. So if there is an AWS expert or Azure expert or a person like that, they are primarily focusing or they are primarily focusing on implementing what they know. Like for example, if I am an AWS expert, if there is a requirement coming to be the most pop, the, what I will do is that I will definitely try to move or basically take the solution specifically to AWS. Or if there is a guy who is basically good in Azure, let's suppose if I'm currently working mostly in Azure. So if there is a requirement coming up for me, I'll mostly you know, pitch it towards the Azure solutions. But instead of that, we have to make sure that when there is a requirement coming up, we want to make sure that we can first of all properly analyze the requirements of the organization to ensure that the things are properly aligned with the business requirements. And based on that, we must be able to compare with the various cloud service providers. And once we compare to choose the proper solutions, to ensure that we identify and addresses all the risk in the cloud platform. In fact, when you go to a cloud, you are increasing the risk a lot, right? So those particular risks which we have has basically been addressed or we are having proper controls to manage the risk like that. So the CCSP work at this level. The CCSP is a person or a security professional or cloud security professional is a person who work closely with the technical experts or maybe that AWS experts or Azure experts, the SIM experts, security experts, developers, DevOps engineers and all these people to ensure that whatever they are doing in the cloud platform is properly aligned with the business requirements, is properly in line with the governance requirements of the organization. So, first of all, about the examination perspective team in talking about CCSP, CCSP is currently has just revised last August, like August 2022, they have revised the exam. And the exam duration is now four hours. Previously, it was three hours. Now the exam is four hours. That's the first thing. Then, uh, previously, it was 125 questions we had in the exam. Now we have a total of 150 questions. And don't worry, like, you know, out of the 150 questions, 100 questions are basically where you get the actual score. And 50 questions are basically there for research and development purposes. It's basically not scored, actually. But you will not be able to differentiate which is the actual scoring one or uh, not scored one. Anyways, please, you will have 150 questions in the examination for CCSP. And once uh, the buzzing score for the exam is 700 marks out of 1000. And uh, you can write the exam from Pearson VU centers. You can basically go to Pearson VU IC Square website. And where there, you can just verify the nearest center near you. And you can write the exam from there. As the point, now I am when I am making this video, uh, the exam is not available online. Like from you cannot write the exam from your home or office. You have to go to the Pearson VU exam center if you want to write the examination. That is the first thing thing. The next thing is that, about the examination, what is the prerequisites you need to write the exam? So as per the IC square, you must have at least five years of working, full-time working experience in IT. And out of that, three years must be in information security and one year must be in 
any domains of the CCSP, the common body of knowledge, the cloud experience must be there. So this is the total experience they are recommending. So, so Krish, I don't have the experience. I don't have an experience in information security or maybe cloud computing, or I'm not having this total five years experience. Then can I go for CCSP? Of course, yes, you can go for this training. And, but when the examination is there, so you can write the exam also, but after the exam is done and you pass the exam, you cannot apply for CCSP. You have to apply for something called as the associate of IC square. If you don't meet the proper experience requirements and, uh, once you become the associate of IC square, you will have a uh, total six years to prove your experience and achieve the CCSP examination or CCSP certification. So this is the, the, the primary thing. Deal. Now, what about the preparation part? So basically, can I come to the CCSP without any cloud knowledge? So even though I can see there is a lot of people say that, okay, we can go for CCSP without cloud knowledge. It's just the governance knowledge is required, management knowledge is required. My team, my, uh, you know, aspect is always, I always say that, if you want to learn CCSP, means not for the exam only, I'm talking about learning the CCSP part. We are talking about the governance aspects specific to the cloud computing for organizations, right? So it's mandatory that you must know at least one cloud platform. It can be any platform, maybe AWS or Azure or GCP or Alibaba or IBM or Oracle, any platform it is. But it is mandatory for you to have knowledge in at least one cloud platform. So Chris, what level of knowledge? It depends on the experience and skills and all, but at least minimum, you must have, you know, the understanding of almost every services or some of the most of the services, the common services, their capabilities and all the cloud platform. It is very important for you to have. That's the first thing. Now, also like, you know, uh, if you are a person who want to manage a team or lead a team of cloud professionals or cloud experts, or if you want to try your cloud transition process in your company, or if you want to uh, switch more solutions in your company to the cloud platform, or you want to know how to make proper decisions uh, on moving to cloud for identifying the risk in the cloud platform for cloud auditing and all these things, the CCSP is a very, very important certification you can go for. Now, the next question we have is that, so Chris, how do I prepare for the examination? Uh, first thing is that team, if you, I have seen that many people reach me on LinkedIn and say, Chris, this is a very tough examination. I have done a self preparation and I have failed the exam. The reason why CCSP is basically like, uh, you know, uh, it is a bit tough exam that people say is because CCSP is not about just memorizing a lot of textbooks. You can get a lot of textbooks in the market, like CCSP, CBG, CCSP, official practice test, CCSP, uh, official study guide, CCSP, owning one. Then you can find a lot of textbooks with CCSP for dummies, a lot of books you will get. But all these books are giving you just the concepts, just giving you the, the understanding of the, what, what exactly you have to learn. But that doesn't make a proper sense. But you must be able to map whatever is there in the textbook to real time scenarios. Like you must be having a proper understanding of how to make these things to map to the proper cloud scenarios and all. And at the end of the day, the the purpose of learning CCSP, according to my aspect at least, is never for going only for the examination. Certification is very important, but that is only, not only for the, that is not only the primary objective. The primary objective for CCSP is to make proper decisions and understand to how to manage the cloud governance and operations of the company properly. So for that team, my primary suggestion I have is that when you're learning CCSP, textbook can help you a lot. You don't have to learn hundreds of textbooks or read hundreds of books. Take any one textbook, like uh, personally, I prefer the CCSP CBK 4th edition as of now, but any which is any book you can take and even review that. But when you basically go for a CCSP textbook, okay, that books helps you to understand what all things are there in the examination. But again, you must have a deeper understanding of the concepts and how to map these concepts. I'll give an example team, like, you know, this can help you a lot. Let's suppose that. I'm asking you as a as a uh, company owner, if I'm asking you, team, we have to migrate our log files or we have to migrate our solutions to the cloud platform or storage solution to cloud platform. So when we get this kind of question that which is the best cloud solution to go for, for storing some data or something, I cannot simply say that, okay, we'll go for Amazon S3 or uh, I cannot say that we'll go for Azure Blobs or I cannot say we'll go for Google Storage. So this is basically, first of all, we have to understand what kind of law, what kind of files we are trying to store. Is it a file where we are going to store, uh, like, you know, which get modified continuously or how long we have to keep it? What is the data retention requirements? What is the compliance and regulatory requirements? 
what is the legal uh, and other factors we have to also understand uh, what kind of security we must provide for this data so like this we have to understand a lot of aspects and based on that we have to find a feasible solution what is a feasible solution like including cost it must be uh, you know proper cost effective it must be properly uh, you know uh, having proper security mechanisms it must be able to retain data for a long time it must be ensured that there is a proper high availability and redundancy for the data so all these things also must be there for that so that is where the ccsp is coming in picture we must be able to identify the different kind of cloud storages which can be used for what purposes what kind of security mechanisms we can provide for each kind of data what are the key aspects we have to understand when storing data in the cloud platform what is the hidden risk in this each storage we are having so we have to work closely with the tactical team and we have to ensure that we are choosing the best solution for the business so that is why ccsp is a very important certification so it's for that as i said before team textbook cannot only help you for the exam you must also make sure you just have a proper a practical mapping of the concepts you are learning the next point which we have is that team can i uh, pass the exam with dumps like you know that like you know when you if you want to pass the aws exam or azure exam if i can see that there's a lot of people see i will be able to purchase some dumps means you know older questions from the web, different websites that you get a lot of people over the internet uh, you know mushing uh, to sell the dumps and all but for ccsp or cssp or any of these kind of exams team there are no active dumps in the market if somebody is telling you that okay they will give you dumps for passing the exam exact exam person they will give you they are fine to cheat you because as of now in my knowledge team there is no dumps for ccsp so the only thing you will get is that you will get practice questions so you can purchase or you can get the ccsp official practice test textbook from ic square and that official practice test contain a lot of questions domain wise which helps you a very easily understand what is basically they are expecting the examination plus you can find a lot of practice questions just the practice questions from various sources and by practicing a lot of questions like this you will get more confidence for appearing for your examination and uh once you pass the exam you have to make sure you apply or you have to apply for ccsp and you must, there must be a person who is already ccsp or ccsp to endorse you so these team, these are the key points which I want to discuss about uh, for CCSP with your team. Let me know if there was any queries in the comment box. Thank you so much. Bye bye.